Turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are, here I am to explain, to teach, and create. Oh, dad. Oh, yeah. That took me back. Yeah, it took some of you got back, and some of you are saying, what in the world is he doing? Well, if you look at some of my videos that are like, oh, say, um, two, three years old, then you'll see what I'm talking about. I, I used to sing that little episode as I came into the came into the um, the video as it were today we're going to do a request which was to do a frog and I will try to do it as big as possible so that they can see the results and it's just going to be a clear frog and it's going to be a short video but uh, we'll see what we can go from where we can go from there let's tilt it there you go now you can see the actual flame but you don't really need to see that. You need to see where it's going after that. And of course, you're looking under a digemium lens. So I need to get some... I usually look through that lens. And thanks to Kumi Mojo, and I'll repeat it a few more times. He he uh, he contributed to the uh, cause and gave me that rectangular digemium lens that you're looking at at the moment. And it does help me to see what I'm doing inside the flame. And so that you can see as well. Um, instead of that round lens that I have been using. Which worked real well. But with this, it looks like the whole video is is good to go, I guess you could say. Anyway, here we go. Short, sweet, precise, to the point. We're going to do a frog clear frog so that you guys can see I think I'm going to try to turn it that way there we go so that that's more centered and the flame is right there at the bottom you know I'm using the Carlisle I use also a 10 liter per minute concentrator on the mix that's all I use um, it's a high intensity from those guys anyway Okay, first thing about a frog is the body. And that is, I guess you would say, shape round. The round shape or the the alphabet of shapes is round, I guess you could say. And if you're wondering what alphabet of shapes are, I do my glass figurines what I call an alphabet of shapes. Putting these shapes together, you make different animals. Just like you can put an alphabet of letters together to make words like you have in your mind well I'll spell it out C-A-T and you already have in your mind what C-A-T stands for in your mind and you don't confuse it with other words but then again if you change one letter in that word H-A-T it becomes a totally different image totally different word in your mind same idea with figurines you've got a frog which starts with a round and another round for the head but then you shape it a little differently and you can see all I did was pinch it and pull it up slightly and you got a frog I stretch out the body instead of making that round body and put a nice long tail on it and you got a lizard and the same idea you just put it together a little bit different and that's what the shape on shapes all about. And that's how it's shaping up. Ha ha ha. Okay. Next. Here we go. Oops. There we go. Um, I'm going to put the front legs on. And the front legs are just what I call the straight leg shape. And all you do is just seal it in really well. You know what I'm going to do? I'm also going to take out that outer flame so it doesn't confuse you as much. Okay. And all I do for the front legs is go and pull one out. And then I go to about a 90 degree angle from that one and pull the other one out. And you can see the 90 degree that I'm talking about from the uh, distance and shape from the other leg. Okay? With me so far. 
Now the two eyes. And there we go. Now there's two ways I'm going to do this. I'm going to do two complete frogs. And the first one, and nine times out of ten, this is the way I do the back legs on most of my animals. On this one. Yeah, I uh, had his head tilted, tilted a little bit too much to one side. So we'll fix that. There we go. You can see it. Okay, now, um, it's all going to be clear. But the simple way to do a frog leg is this. You attach you go out about a 90 degree angle from that one in the front there and then go out about a quarter of an inch or so heat it and bend it a little forward. And that is one way that I used to do my frog legs. Like so. And it passes for a frog because he's ready to hop around. And this is what I'll do with the second leg as well. Of course, I could make the other type of leg on this side, but I won't. I'll just make another quick frog. There we go. And then I heat up near the bottom so he flattens it well and sits pretty well. The next thing I'm going to do is toes all the way around. Like Tadley did, okay, Tadley. And I only do two toes, but you can do three or four if you wanted to. It's your amount of detail that you want to put in your own little figurine. Okay. This is just to do the quick version so that you guys can see the finished product. And what you add and bring to the, the party after this point, colors different color eyes, spots to the body, is what you do to it, and what it, you make it yours. But this is just to start you in the right direction. And there you go. Now I also have to, I guess, bring off the back end. Okay. And I could probably have made that into a round ball and done it to that side first, but I didn't. Okay. And we have one frog. Now I'm going to fire polish that nose where I was just holding on to it. Always where you do a, a punte, you need to fire polish it or it could get really sharp. Okay, now the second frog, same idea as the first, but a little bit different on the back leg. And we'll talk about that as we go. You can see that only took me about three or four minutes, and this one should also take me about, oh yeah, three or four minutes. Same idea. We're getting there. Nice round ball for the body. Same idea. Are you ready for this? Yeah, that's what I thought. Now I'm going to put a punte. Cold seal, cold weld, whatever you want to call it. Right there. And I'm going to put the melt the head and put that about where I want it. There we go. There's the head. Press it out. 
I sort of make it like a duck bill look or whatever. Gives the right idea. This one I'm going to add a little bit of splash too. Let's put some color for eyes. Oh, when you want to reach for a color, what do you, you get? Everything but the color you want. So we'll deal with this. And usually the colors that I use for the eye, I also use the color for the toes. So they sort of color coordinated as it were. Right, right, right. Now, four legs coming up. One. The front legs are about the same again well they are the same right angle and pull the other one out like so now the back legs this is where it comes a little bit different and if you get a little bit better style and panache you can use this for the back leg as well and this is where I go and I draw I heat up more of what I call I call this side the paper and this side the pencil no I reverse that this side the paper this side the pencil dyslexic you can um, I heat up the pencil a little bit and I draw up the side of the, the frog body and then I heat it up a little bit more and then bend it right down on top of what I just did to give it a nice bendy leg ready to like it's ready to hop okay and that takes a little bit of practice and again I'll do the same thing heat it up draw it on and then draw it down and draw it out and then there's the two back legs ready to hop get hopping mad right right now I gotta flatten it press it from the top a little bit and there we go and now I'm gonna put the two toes on the front and I might be able to have the right angle to do the two toes in the back but we'll see Nah, I'm not going to try. Well, let's try it. Two toes. Oh, what a... You know what? A, a stupid me. We're going to do it anyway. Take those off. Just like I said, I'm too busy thinking of getting it done instead of doing it right. I said I take the color, the same color that I make the eyes, and make the toes. So we're going to do that. Here we go. like Tadley did, okay? And if you've been doing it long enough or, or taking your time and you're not, and it took me a while to get back to this, so what I'm going to do is warm the whole body up again and you could do that on a regular basis, especially if you're taking your time and you're doing it less than, if you're taking more than three or four minutes to do this piece, and especially if you're working with soft glass, you've got to do it fast and furious. See there? And there we go. Oops. Boy, did I really lean on that leg. Don't notice things until you... Oops. Nothing's broken. Actually, I'm going to hold on to it by the nose anyway. 
nothing's broken. It was just, as I pulled him, he broke off the punte, that's all. And we need to fire polish where the punte was. In the back quarter there. Press it down again. And tap it off. Fire polish his notes. And there we go. Now this one is probably still very warm. Well, it is warm, but it's not hugely hot. And it does look like a nice little frog. And the other one is still very warm, so I'm going to hold on to him. Probably drop him. Get him close enough so that you can see him. All it takes is a little bit of practice, time, and effort. And memorization. Doing it over and over and over and over and over again. Until you feel like, hey, I got something that I really like. And you know what? Sometimes you might not like it. But other people will. And that's the truth, too. I... When I very, very, very first started doing glass blowing, and I showed some stuff to uh, friends and stuff, and they said, how much do you want to sell that for? And I looked at it, and, you know, thinking to myself, you really want to buy this POS? But I said, you really want to buy this, is what I said. And um, they said, yeah. I said, well, about 3 or $4, I guess. And they handed me money, and it was great. I mean, I... That's the first time that I felt like, hey, I could actually make money at this. So, that was my choice. Well, I'm going to quit. Well, I already started one. I'll do one more. All right, one more. A little bit smaller. Ooh, 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 even better, even better, even better. Using this stuff. Come on, focus. Let's see if we can focus it over here. This is some diacroic, sparkly, glittery. We'll make this into a baby frog. This is some dichro strips that I made up uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this is some dichro that I picked up at Glass Vegas when I went there, which was really cool. I came home after Las Vegas and I was sicker than a dog. You know what? I almost think I had that Corona stuff before they were saying that it was a Corona stuff. Because I was coughing, no runny nose, very sore, you know, ribs and stuff like that after the event. So I felt like, ouch, I must have caught it. Neither here nor there. So. We will see what we can do to make this into a nice little froggy. There we go. And that'll be the body. And, oop, not that one. This will work. I'll come up with some blue for the for the legs and the, the eyes. No, I'll do green for the legs and blue for the eyes. There we go. This I'm also going to put a loop on because it'll make a nice little pendant or dangly piece for somebody. Blue for the eyes. Let's see where you're at. Blue. Here, blue. Dark blue. One. Two. Green for the legs. And then I'll put a loop on the end of his nose. A bale, whatever you want to call it.
Here's the bale. Not bad. Demoing three frogs in about 20 minutes. Come on, up, up, up. There we go. Now the back legs. That might work. Let's see that. Pull that off. Oh yeah. Make your art your own. Yes, it's good to start out somewhere, but it's also good to, again, work it that you're happy with it being yours. Just like you had to practice your ABCs and get them right first, and then you started doing lettering, and then you, some people got into some nice calligraphy. Same thing with figurines and stuff. You can start out simple and get more complex. If you want to do stripes on your frogs, or if you wanted to do whatever. And there we go. Three down in 22 plus minutes. Thanks for watching. As always, Carpe Vitro and enjoy. Wait, let me show you that a little closer. Because I can. And I know I could have hung up already, but that's just me. Ooh. Parkle. Later. Copy Vitro and enjoy your day.